God bless mom, my name is Judy and Sandy Altabar from Bachelor of Science in Social Work, first year Black Sea. So for today's video, I will going to answer the four questions that you provided for us. So first question is, how does gender play a role in a society? Gender roles are prevalent in today's culture. Gender roles are a set of cultural norms that govern which actions are usually acceptable or desirable people de depending on their throw or perceived sex or sexuality. Gender is essentially a societal construct, thus categorizing someone based on their gender is unjust. Gender roles may have an impact not just on how individuals um, see one another. Gender is a social construct that expects females to display uh, traditionally female characteristics such as empathy and caring. Caring, while males are expected to exhibit traditionally male characteristics such as leadership and confidence. Second question is, how does culture affect gender? Cultural variables influence gender and personality for a number of reasons. Some argue that culture and gender impediments to self-expression. On the other, cultural effects, gender, and personalities may be examined in terms of how we study different gender roles in our civilization, different cultures in our society, and different personalities in our communities. Understanding gender is necessary because we can begin discussing about it. First, we must comprehend the retention of our minds as a result of experience, logic, and imagination. Third question is, are gay, lesbian, bisexual, or transgender people dangerous to children and why? Some people worry and think that children rest by homosexual parents may require more emotional assistance or will experience specific societal challenges. For me, uh, part of the LGBTQ people are not dangerous for children. But some people think that once a children can see what their action, they might adopt it. That's why some think they are not good influence, but if we see the God aspect of it, it's not dangerous to be around with the LGBTQ part. They are harmless, and they are also humans, and they have also feelings. Last question is, is homosexuality a mental illness or emotional problem? Homosexuality is a romantic attraction, sexual attraction, or sexual behavior between members of the same sex or gender. I believe that homosexuality is an emotional issue. Since homosexuality is about the attraction or behavior of a person in the in their same sex or gender, we can't call it a mental illness. Never. It is an emotional issue for children since kids regularly face bullying, discrimination, and accessibility to LGBTQ related. So that's all for today's video. Lastly, my name is Judy Ann Sandy Altobar from Bachelor of Science in Social Work, first year, Black Sea. Thank you and God bless.